hi guys welcome back to my channel so we are going to be doing a love predictions video for the month of december so whether you are single or in a relationship or it's complicated we are going to look at what your love life is going to look like for the month of december so i have three piles here in front of us we're going to um, go through each of them but first this is pile number one pile number two in pile number three okay um we have citrine on top of pile number one we have um i forget what this one is called i want to say it's like red gold something i honestly i think it's like red gold stone is what this one's called and then we have clear quartz okay so um please just choose the pile that speaks to you um a lot of people usually like to meditate um to help them decide on which pile calls to them um others like to use visual aids which is why i use the stones on top just to kind of help um, for those of you who are a little bit more visual um but always go with what your intuition says. So if you're intuitively being called to um, this pile or that, or maybe even two, um, then go with that. Okay. So <clears throat> please keep in mind, this is a general reading. So not everything that is um, going to be in the cards is going to 100% be for you. Um, remember, this is a general reading. So please just take what resonates with you. Um, but before we do get started, I do want to let you guys know that since this is, um, you know, my channel is still new for those of you who have any suggestions or any future videos that you guys would like to see on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. So I would love to be able to get some feedback and just try to figure out like what you the audience would like to see um, for future videos. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to do pile number one with the citrine. I'm going to go ahead and move two and three off to the side. And this is what we'll have. So I'm going to put some chain right there. So we have our Power of Love um, Oracle cards here, which just talks about transformation. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Very nice. And then we have our um, Lover's Oracle card. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Oh, okay. So for some of you guys, you might be meeting your twin flame, or if you're already in a relationship, that could be with your twin flame. So that's awesome to hear. And then we're going to go ahead and read your tarot cards. All right. First, we have the Knight of Cups. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. The lover's card. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, just only really confirming that you guys are talking about twin flames here. The judgment card. And we have the seven of swords. Okay. So I'm going to kind of reposition these a little bit just so that way they can stay in frame. All right. <clears throat> okay. So right off the bat, what I'm getting is um, obviously we've got the Twin Flames and we've got the Lover's card here. We also have the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups talks about um, like good fortune, good news coming in regards to love. So this could be for those of you who are single. Excuse me. For those of you guys who are single, you could be possibly meeting like the one or the um like somebody that's going to uh, play a huge role in your life here soon um in the month of december okay um it's kind of like that knight in shining armor you know the one you've been longing for is going to come into play now if you are already in a relationship what this card can signify as well is that um you and your partner or possibly solidifying your relationship. Perhaps they're gonna you're gonna take it to the next level, either through an engagement. Um, perhaps they could be proposing to you in the month of December, um, or you could be getting married in the month of December, 
or something life changing, either like buying a house or things like that. Um, moving in together could be like the next step um, for those of you who are already in a relationship. OK, um, the Ace of Pentacles talks about like new beginnings. So again, kind of correlating with the Knight of Cups um, that you guys are starting like a new adventure, either taking your relationship to the next level um, if you are in a coupled relationship or for those of you who are single, um, it gives you, um, this talks about new opportunities for you to meet somebody for the month of December. Okay. So there's a lot of positivity we've got going on here. Um, <clears throat> with the judgment card, um, basically within the spread from what I'm seeing, how the judgment plays a role in this is that, it's allowing, uh, the judgment is basically allowing you to kind of, um, I don't want to say necessarily take caution, but getting you to um, be prepared basically for the things ahead. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, whatever life decision you guys do decide to move forward in, if those of you who are, you know, maybe looking to move in together, or if you are, um, you know, wanting to take the next step in your relationship with your partner, um, this is only signifying that, you know, you have given it some thought and that you really are um, weighing the pros and cons of, you know, you guys taking this next step in your relationship. Okay, so that's where the judgment card can play into that. Now, the seven of swords, um, this one, I think for me, I think it's more so for those of you who are single, <clears throat> okay, um, where you, you know, might be coming across meeting somebody, um, in your life, it's kind of, um, giving you that sense of just kind of being cautious of who you do decide to, um, go out on a date with or like, you know, who you do decide to meet next. Like, don't just jump right into the next thing, even though, yes, you may very well be meeting um, the one, you know, for the month of December. You still want to exercise caution. You know, don't just jump into anything blindly. Definitely get to know the person, you know, really take your time um, in um, finding out who they are. And I think you'll know intuitively, you will know whether or not this person is the right one for you. Okay. So, um, but for those of you guys who are in coupled relationships, I definitely see some type of, um, new beginnings coming for you, whether that does require moving in together an engagement, marriage, um, perhaps even starting a family, you know, um, that can definitely be something that can um, come into play, especially with the judgment card. That could be something that you guys discuss of like, okay, is this going to be a good, you know, option for us, or is this a good time for us to talk about starting a family, you know, all of those things. And then obviously just kind of exercising a little bit of caution. And with that, um, just making sure that ultimately it's the right timing for you. But from what I'm seeing, it looks like for the month of December, group number one, you guys definitely are going to have a wonderful December <laughs> in regards to your love life. So love this very good spread. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number two with the red gold stone. All right, so we're going to move these to the side. <clears throat> All right, and we've got group number two right here. So I'm going to go ahead and place this here, and we're going to also start with your lover, or, or sorry, the power of love oracle cards. So you, your guys' group had two. So the first one we have is acceptance. You are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. Okay. And spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. I love that. So it's all about like acceptance. Very nice. Okay. <clears throat> so then we have your lover's oracle card. Ooh, wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Oh, okay. So for some of you guys, um, for the month of December, it's definitely 
telling you to just kind of be cautious and not to rush in anything. So let's see what your tarot cards have to say. All right, so we have the Four of Wands. Oops, sorry, wait. Yeah, Four of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Cups. The Page of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this is a different tarot deck. Um, I used my goddess, um, I believe it's called the goddess tarot deck. So I chose that one. So if you guys are noticing that the tarot cards obviously are a little bit different than the last one, that is the reason why. <clears throat> okay, so there seem to be a few different things going on here. Okay, so from what I'm gathering for the month of December. I, okay. Like I said, there's two things. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start with, um, the four of wands. So the four of wands talks about celebration. Okay. It talks about like celebrating, um, coming together. Um, oftentimes it's considered like the marriage card. Um, you know, it's like a time if, even if you look at the, um, um, the picture, it looks like a couple who just got married or who's celebrating their marriage. Okay. Um, and oftentimes in the tarot decks, this is usually what you will see is usually like a couple there's, you know, flowers and their celebration and things like that all around. So that's typically what that card can signify. So for some of you guys, um, in group number two, if you are in a relationship, if you guys are currently engaged perhaps some of you guys could be celebrating your marriage this month or um <clears throat> you're having your wedding this month perhaps others there might be an anniversary okay um but then for others who are single um this can also just be a time of where you're everything's kind of going well for you. Like, you know, financially you're stable, um, you know, friendships are going well, work's going well, all of that can, you just can kind of be like in a good place right now. Okay. Um, where potentially you could find, um, somebody if you are looking. Okay. Um, but there's, doesn't seem to be any sense of rush right now. It's just kind of like you're content with where things are at. Um, and you know, if something comes along, great. If not, you're fine with it. OK, so that's what that seems to be telling me um, right off the bat. Then we have um, <clears throat> the well, it's a Wheel of Fortune, excuse me. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So usually when the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse, it's basically talking about um, there could be something maybe kind of holding you back or um, you kind of feel like you're at a standstill. Now, this could be talking about for those of you who are in a relationship right now where, you know, you kind of feel like it's just, you know, stuck. And I, and I it sounds kind of bad, but what I mean by that is that you kind of just feel like you're at a standstill with your relationship. Like you don't know um, what's necessarily blocking you, but like you want to move forward maybe like either moving in together or, you know, getting married or whatnot. Um, but you just feel like it's not going in the direction that you want it to, or it's not going at the pace that you want it to. Okay. So it's like, you have these ideas about what you want to do and, you know, how, you know, you would like to move forward and things like that. But for some reason, it's like either you or your partner are not um, allowing yourselves to get to that point. Okay. So this is kind of a time to really stop and realize like, what is it that's holding you back? You know, why do you feel like you're kind of at the standstill right now? Okay. And instead of just kind of being back and forth with it, um, you know, recognize what it is that you want to do and then figure out how you need to move forward. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then we have the seven of cups in reverse. Now the seven of cups, um, this is all about multiple opportunities, 
Okay. There's like all these choices and things. I think, like I said earlier, you know, with having the Wheel of Fortune, you know, in reverse, you know, it's like you're kind of feeling wishy washy. Well, with the Seven of Cups, you're kind of still in that state of confusion. Like, what do I do? How do I move forward? You know, um, if you are in a, or excuse me, if you're single, this could also be a time for some of you where you're like, okay, should I go out with this guy? Should I not? You know, should I give this a try? Should I not? I think for some of you, if you are in that current situation and you're just like, you don't really know which way you should go. I think this card really um, jumps out at me and says like not to rush into it. <laughs> you know, um, <clears throat> because oftentimes like when we're stuck and we feel like we're not sure which direction we should go in, we feel like the sense of pressure that we almost innately put it into ourselves. Like we need to make a decision. We need to make a decision. Yes, there are times for sure you have to make a decision, but don't rush yourself, you know, really take the time, weigh it out. Is this going to be a beneficial relationship for you to jump into or not? You know, those are the things that you really need to think about when you are contemplating if you should or you shouldn't. Okay. So <clears throat> I think that's what we got here with the, um, with the seven of cups. It's basically telling you to just to kind of like listen to your intuition, let your feelings tell you which direction you should go in. Oftentimes it's your head and your heart that are really fighting against one another. So I think in this, when it's, when we're talking about matters of love, <laughs> I think you should really listen to your heart and decide which direction is going to be best for you, um, in order to move forward. Okay. Um, to me, at least that's what would make sense, um, in how you can ultimately, um, get past everything. Okay. All right. So then we have the page of wands <clears throat> and, Let's see. So basically with the page of wands, I think in this situation, it's just kind of telling you to, you know, remain positive in this overall situation. Because like I said, oftentimes with all of everything that's going on, this is like a card of positivity, you know, just to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know, regardless of everything that's going on around you, if if you just try to focus on the negative, it's going to, you're going to feel defeated. You're going to feel like, oh my gosh, I'm like, what's the point? You know, how are we going to, how are we going to move in together? How am I going to enjoy, you know, um, you know, this life with this person that I've been with, or how am I going to, you know, will this relationship even work out if I'm single? And if I want to get into this new relationship with this person, you know, you're going to have all these negative thoughts. And if you focus on that, that's where you're going to stay. But I think with having the Prince of um, Wands, excuse me, yeah, the Prince of Wands in this card, that's what it's considered. Um, <clears throat> when you have the Page of Wands, it's basically telling you just to have that sense of positivity and to remain such in this, okay? Um, I know it can be difficult because especially, like I said, if you're just constantly thinking of like, oh my gosh, should I, should I, shouldn't I? Um, that's just what's going to keep you from, you know, um, moving forward and accepting, you know, all of the possibilities that you have in front of you. And then last we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles um, can represent a few things. And it usually represents like a woman, like a strong woman um, who is confident and comfortable within herself. Okay. And I think with having this in here with the state of confusion that we got going on over here, um, I think this can obviously speak to you as the viewer. If you are a woman watching this, um, remembering that you are the one in control over the situation. I know at times it may not feel like it, but you are in control of your own happiness. Okay. So if you want to move forward in your relationship, if you want, you know, to get into a new relationship or take a risk on, you know, meeting somebody, you know, going out on a date with some guy that could possibly, you know, you could really hit it off with, you know, do it, but only do it if you feel 100% secure in it. Okay. If not, wait, you know, don't rush it. Just kind of take your time, enjoy things as they come. Okay. So, um, definitely keep those things in mind. Um, uh, for those of you guys in, um, group number two, that if this <clears throat> is feeling like there's a sense of, um, 
rush or if you feel like you're just constantly going back and forth on not really sure of what you should do in your situation. I think for those of you in the month of December, it's, it looks like overall it will turn out okay so long as you accept and you let go of the negativity, um, but you also just allow things to naturally run its course. Things will work out in due time for you guys, okay? So that is what I'm seeing for group two. Um, I hope this resonated, but I'm going to go ahead and move on to our last group, of group number three. I'm going to move these... <clears throat> All right, now we have group three. So we have with the clear quartz. <clears throat> All right, so the first Power of Love Oracle card we have is Freedom. You were releasing any self imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Beautiful. Then we have the Lover's Oracle card. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Love that. Okay, let's take a look at your tarot cards. Um, so the tarot cards that I'm using are Tarot of the Witches. So we have... The Three of Pentacles in Reverse. The Eight of Swords in Reverse. The Page of Pentacles. Sorry, it's always weird whenever they're in, um, they said they're written differently. <laughs> the Death Card in Reverse. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so, all right. Okay, so what I'm getting from this spread is it seems like for group three, for the month of December, in regards to love, we're going to start with the three of pentacles, okay? So with the three of pentacles, this refers to um, finances. Now, for some of you um, that are in a relationship, the three of pentacles could possibly mean that right now, you know, things are for the month of December, money might be a little tight and that could possibly cause a little bit of a restraint in your relationship. Okay, um, which that's normal, to be honest, like you or if you are married or if you're in a relationship where you guys um, share your finances, if money is tight, that honestly can put a little bit of a strain or cause, you know, arguments or things like that, because it has to deal with money. So <clears throat> that could definitely be something that comes about um, for some of you um, in the month of December. Um, but if you are single, um, I think it's just even going to be something that's going to be more so weighing on your mind during that month, um, right in the beginning. And I, it makes sense because, you know, this December is the month where money seems to be really tight just because, you know, we've got Christmas and the holidays and, you know, it's just, you've got your normal bills and things like that. So it can definitely be a stressful time um, for some in regards to money. So <clears throat> um, just kind of keep those things in mind, you know, even though this is a love reading, that those things can come into play. And, you know, sometimes put a damper on in your relationships, especially if you guys do um, share finances and whatnot. Okay. Um, with the eight of swords in reverse, um, this is just kind of piggybacking off of, um, the three of pentacles saying that like, you know, if it's already kind of a tough situation, it can continue to get worse only if you allow it. Okay. So like if you're kind of just putting it off to the side, like, you know, 
um, the fact that you guys are arguing over money or finances and you just kind of like put it to the back burner and you don't really want to address it, um, it can only escalate. Um, because if you guys don't both actually talk it out or figure out or have a game plan of what you guys are going to do to make it to where this doesn't become an ongoing issue, then yes, things can definitely get worse for your relationship. Okay. Um, again, if you're single, um, it can definitely be something that'll continue to weigh on your mind. And, you know, again, being or looking for a relationship can possibly be something that's on the last of your mind for this month. Okay. So, um, for those of you in a relationship, it's definitely something that will need to be addressed. And I would say, you know, definitely talk it out with your partner and, you know, try to find a game plan of what works for you guys. Okay. Um, <clears throat> We have the Page of Pentacles, um, which does offer up some bit of good news. So even though perhaps in the beginning of the month of December, money might be a little tight and things are going to be a little stressful, the Page of Pentacles offers up, um, you know, a sense of good news that things will work themselves out, you know, um, that perhaps the money, um, will come in. Perhaps you guys will get like a, one of you or both of you could get like a bonus for this month or something that'll really help out. So that'll kind of smooth over, um, some of the tension that's going on here at the beginning of the month. Okay. For some of you guys, um, then we have the death card in reverse. Now, oftentimes when people see the death card, they immediately are like terrified. They think, oh my gosh, this is like the worst thing. It means I'm going to die or something. Um, and that's, you honestly couldn't be further from the truth of what it means. Um, but what the death card signifies or represents in this is that it usually has to do with transitions, you know, shutting um, the old and starting anew. And when it's in the reverse position, it's talking about like you hesitating to move forward. Okay. So for some of you in, let's say if you're in a relationship Perhaps there's a certain point where um, you're struggling to move forward. And what I mean by that is either <clears throat> if this is what's causing you to have issues, like, you know, your finances and that's something that's just constantly you guys argue about or things are just, it's always on your mind, then yes, this would indicate why this is how you guys are having such a tough time getting past that because you're so stuck and focused on the, you know, all of that. Um, if you're single, what this to me tells me is that you are solely focusing on like kind of like the negative aspects and just focusing on like either work or just the fact that you, you don't have a lot of money right now or things like that, that you're not allowing yourself to look for a relationship right now. Um, you're kind of just focused on, you know, the negative aspects rather than just enjoying your life and just, you know, being happy for the things that you do have. You're focusing more so on perhaps the things that are holding you back, bad habits, perhaps bad spending habits. You know, there might be some of you that spend a little too much. You know, I get it. It is the holidays and I'm guilty of it too. We do tend to overspend a little bit. Um, but you know, if, if this is more of a negative habit where you're constantly spending <clears throat> on either yourself, I would say pretty much for yourself, uh, during this time, then obviously that can put a strain on not only your relationship, but your, uh, potential for a relationship if you are single. Okay. And then we have the nine of pentacles, um, here and the nine of pentacles, <clears throat> I think is definitely a positive card overall. So even though this can, there's going to be some obstacles for the month of December, I think ultimately it will end well for you guys. Um, there will, I think you guys will come into it. You will work this financial issue out. You will. That's definitely what I'm seeing with the, with the page of coin or page of um, pentacles and the nine of pentacles. These two cards right here are telling me that this is just temporary. You guys will get through it. It's going to work itself out and you will come out on top and you will be able to then, you know, 
enjoy the fruits of your labor. You, everything will kind of come into fruition. You'll be able to, you know, get your finances in order so that way it shouldn't become such a burden upon you. Okay. And I think that's where the sense of freedom comes into play too. You might be free from your financial burdens that will then allow you to look for, you know, um, look for love. You know, if you're single, if you are in a relationship, then this will allow you to be free from that. So that way your relationship can continue to flourish. Okay. Um, and again, you do have the power, um, you know, to say no or to walk away at any time. So you have the power to say no to those overspending, <laughs> you know, to buying something for yourself when really you shouldn't. Remember that, that ultimately you are in charge and you are the one that's in power of all of this. So um, hopefully that resonated if you guys chose group number three. Um, it looks like for all my groups, everybody's going to have a pretty good December as far as like in the love department, you know, group three. Yes, we have some little troubles in the way, but honestly, it's going to work itself out pretty well. So um, that's awesome to hear. So if you guys have any um, suggestions on future videos, please let me know in the comments below, as well as if this, any of these piles resonated with you. I would love to hear um, any feedback. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.